Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to take a look at the zero trust module that has been recently rolled out in Manage Engine PAM 360 solution. So the core objective of this module can be categorized into two primary objectives. The first objective is the ability to generate and detect actionable insights from the target systems and also from the end user machines. And the second objective is to actually create access policies inside the PAM360 solution, which will leverage those insights and perform various actions based on the different parameters that are configured in the PAM360's Zero Trust module. So to configure this feature, you will have to log into PAM360 solution as an administrator and then navigate to the admin tab. You will already have this uh, Windows agents and Linux agents that are available. So generally these agents are used to um, uh, manage endpoints that are residing in an isolated location. But now these agents also have the components required for generating insights for our zero trust module. So that means this agent can be deployed on both the end critical servers and also the end user machines like laptops, or workstations or desktops, which the users use to access and gain privilege um, sessions. So as an administrator, you will be able to download this agent and deploy it in your resources or the, the critical servers. And um, that will add those endpoints under the resources tab, which you might already know about. But in addition to adding the system and also discovering the local accounts and also you would managing the passwords the zero trust module you can see that it detects a trust score it basically provides you with information about the position of your um, critical servers be it a windows machine or a linux machine so if you navigate to admin tab and then go to the zero trust area so you will find this configuration section where you can configure various parameters. So if you are registering a device, you can configure what is the allowed operating system or what ports are authorized to be open in that particular machine or what type of applications and packages are allowed or denied to be installed in that particular machine and so on. So there are many parameters that you can actually configure either by allowing it uh, by adding it into the allowed list or by adding it into the block list. But the point is based on these parameters and with the help of the agent that is uh, gathering these insights from the target machine, PAM will be able to create a, a trust score for that particular endpoint or the server. So the same concept applies even for detecting and identifying the posture of end user machines such as laptops or desktops same concept you download the agent and you deploy it when you deploy it you will register it as a, a device agent that is for the users and you can also map the agent to the respective user so in the users tab you will typically have all of your users listed you would most likely import them from active directory or from ldap but anyway each user who would like to use the pam360 solution would already be registered and listed in this users tab right so when you install the agent on a particular user's laptop, you can map that particular laptop against that user's login name. So then what happens is that it also gives you the trust score for that particular user. And this trust score again is generated based on various parameters pertaining to that particular user. Now it will consider the behavior of that user inside PAM360 solution like how many times did the user try to log into PAM using an invalid credential or is that user working during the business hours or did they sign in during a non-business hours? Are they accessing the PAM solution from an authorized device or perhaps uh, we have their laptop registered and for some reason they're accessing PAM from another workstation or from a coffee shop, uh, for example. PAM will recognize that the request is not coming from the authorized or allowed device. So in that case, the trust score will go down drastically. 
and various other parameters like the end user's machine itself, like does it run the latest operating system? Does it have any unauthorized browser add-ons or plugins installed on them? So all of these parameters will be considered and the agents running on those machines, both the end user machine and also on the, the target endpoints that you're managing using PAM, the agent generates this data and helps PAM360 in generating this score. So that is the first part of the zero trust module. And in the second part, based on this trust score, you also create access policies. Access policies are basically actions that you want PAM360 to do with the help of the insights that we have gathered. So for example, you can create a condition and say that a particular user should be allowed to gain access to a target machine only if they are accessing PAM from a trust score of more than 90%. So that means is if their laptop doesn't have the latest antivirus updates or if they're, uh, if they're running an operating system without the latest Windows patches, for example, then they would not be given access to gain privilege session using PAM360 solution. So you can see, you can configure the condition based on various factors like the password policy or the trust score or the device trust score and all of it. And if the conditions are met, what actions would you like PAM360 to perform? Like in some cases, you can just issue a warning to the user and say like you are, you, you're accessing PAM from a, a laptop that is having certain applications that are not allowed. So maybe in those cases, you could just provide them with a warning or uh, you can ask them to enforce and provide a reason before they can gain access to the machine or you can even deny and terminate access. So let's say if the user and device trust scores are below 50%, then the best option would be to make PAM deny or terminate access. So when the user logs into PAM, and even though they have been given access to a critical server, like typically they will log into PAM and launch an RDP session or an SSH session. In that particular instance, PAM would not allow them access. It will deny them from launching a remote connection just because the user trust score and the resource trust score are below 50%, which is not a good, good mark, right? So the user would then be forced to get the trust score to a higher degree. And how can they do that? they would probably install the antivirus updates or update the Windows patches that are pending. Or if they have any unauthorized applications installed in their laptop, they will be forced to uninstall it before they can actually leverage PAM360's connection tab or the remote connection from the PAM360 solution. So that's the overall objective of um, the zero trust module that is rolled out in PAM360. Uh, in, our, in our next videos, we will have a much more deep dive on how to actually use this feature and uh, we'll try to make it into a multi-part video so that it will be easy for you to follow and try it in your own installation of PAM360. Until then, thank you.